In the 1980s, Stratford used to look very different. The area around our school was like a wasteland, but there were more shops on the high street. Over the past few years, Stratford has become more modernised and brighter. For example, a lot more flats have been built right next to our school and Abbey Lane has seen lots of changes with parks being rebuilt and new shops. Our school has seen a lot of changes over the years. For example, the way we use technology has changed a lot. We used to have a few massive computers in our ICT room. Now we have a lot of new computers with nice big screens and most of our classrooms have laptops for the students. We use computers every day for all sorts of things, from writing emails to doing our homework. So the way we use computers has changed a lot since the 1980s. When people found out that the Olympics was going to be in Stratford, the whole of Carpenter's school cheered with joy. The Olympics is something for us to learn about and we have met lots of important athletes. We represented the Olympic by making an Olympic garden. We let our butterflies and balloons during the ceremony. We have spent lots of, lots of mornings and afternoons working on the garden. This has included planting seeds, making a, a bug mansion and, and a scarecrow. Now, after lots of work, it's full of things to enjoy, such as wildlife and the pond. During the half-term holidays, some children went to visit the Olympic site and got to see the velodrome, the monumental Olympic park, and also the basketball building. Our choir even went to the Olympic stadium and met Boris Johnson and David Cameron. The game has brought lots of new development to our area. Sometimes this makes lots of noise and is busy. But when 2012 finally comes, we'll be proud to say we live next to the Olympics.
The games have brought a lot of new developments to our area. Sometimes this makes it very noisy and busy. But the, when 2012 finally comes, we will be proud to say that we live next to the Olympics. Mr. That say proud. We re represented the Olympic by making an Olympic garden. We let our butterflies and balloons during the ceremony. We have spent lots of m lots of mornings and afternoons working on the garden. This has included planting seeds, making a a bug mansion, and uh, and a scarecrow. Now, after lots of work, it's full of things to enjoy, such as wildlife and the pond.